But my hair for literally every single one of you who have to watch this video knows has not been washed. It's just in the sentence there. It hasn't been washed for a while. For, for a while. And I need to go wash my hair. So I said, since I'm going to wash it, why not do a video, you know? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be doing a flexi rod style on my hair today. I haven't done it in a while. For, I think, is it on my No, it's not. I had a picture of me with, um my hair in that style before, but I think I took it off Instagram. <laughs> I don't know why, but I did. So I'm really going to just do it again. Uh, hopefully the same, cause the first time I did it was really, really good. I shocked myself, honestly. So I'm going to be, I'm going to go and wash my hair or probably have a hair day and then kind of just show you guys how I do the runs in my hair. I, if I can find a picture of how I did it the first time, I'll just interject hair, you know? But I'm really, really excited. I, it's probably one of my favorite hairstyles to do. I like doing two things to my hair. Putting it in one and doing curly style, which is, I would say the kind of only two things I can do, but I realize I can do also stuff with my hair. So it's not only two things I can do. But I really liked how the flexi rods helped my hair turn out. So I'm really excited to go do that now. It's, I think I've been rambling now. So let's just jump into the video. I won't show me washing my hair because I already have a wash day routine video. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Which side does it come up on? This side? I think it's this side. Go check it out here. Right there. Right there. It popped up for a second there. So go check that out. Um, it looks like this is thumbnail. If you don't know. If you missed that, you can go on my channel and check it out. And so since you since I already have that video, I don't need to go through the whole wash day routine since it's the same thing I'll be doing. Uh I'll just I'll just start, so let's get into this. Hi guys, so as you can see, my hair is now fully blow dried. And uh, well, it has shrunk a bit because I, this is the day after. So I, it's now hopefully not knotted because my hair is very easy to knot. So we have this working with it. It's blow dried, it's stretched. So all we have to do now is just start. So these are the products we'll be working with today. I have, so I have my Cream of Nature uh, Stretch Anified Pudding. I have my Cantu Styling Gel. I have my Cream of Nature Styling Mousse. And last of all, I have this Jamaican Mango Lime Island Oil with Moringa Seed Oil and Manica Honey. And if you want a video on this stuff, the hair products that I have, let me know in the comments because I can do that. But this is one of the first things I used in my hair, so it's a staple for me to this day. And I've gotten my mom on the train as well. So, yes, yeah, so this is my last product to be used today. Now, initially, I know I said it'd be flexi rods. I know I said flexi rods, but. I I thought I bought flexi rods. I really thought I did. I've been searching the entire place from yesterday. I have not found not one flexi rod. But I did do this hairstyle before. And I used these and they turned out beautifully. These are These are these are still rods, right? Just not flexi. Right? I don't know what I'm called, but I'll be using, I'll be using these. Uh, these work quite well for me, and they're probably actually much easier to use, in my opinion, than the flexi rods, but 
Y'all might disagree. I love using these. I just wanted to try the flexi rods, but I don't have that. So maybe next time. So what I'll be, so what I'll be doing, really actually just separate this, um, separating it into sections and then starting from the back all the way to the front. And I will be doing the same thing I did in the braid out video where I would show you a couple. Then I'll kind of just do, just jump to a half, then probably a time lapse and show you the putting in process really quickly because this is a whole video so I'm going to show you. Put it in, the taking down, the flopping and styling and everything. So yes, let us jump right in. Did I say that already? I did. Let's start. So this is one half, this is the other half. Let me just kind of put this away and then we can separate this separate this half and then start working on that. All right, so I've separated this part. I'm going to be working with this first quarter and I'm going to, yeah, and I'm going to, I'm going to turn it around so I can show you the first one and how I do it. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. So what I mean, I did separate this section from the initial quarter and I put that part up, the rest of that up. And what I'm going to do is kind of split this into two. It doesn't have to be perfect. It does not. So, cause it really does not matter. Well, at least for me, it doesn't matter for me. So I'm placing it in two. I'm putting this away, back up here. And then what I'm going to do first is get the island oil i'm going to put a teeny teeny bit also what i'm supposed to say for this is it stains like the oil is actually yellow clearly as you can see it's yellow so it will stain so you have to be careful it's very runny so it's easy to get everywhere so what i'm going to do is just put at the root that's it just a little bit at the root just a little bit at the root I'm gonna kind of like run that through a little bit. Just rub it through. Then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to mix these two. I'm going to mix the styling gel with the defining pudding. You will know if stuff can work together because if you mix them beforehand, like in your hand. So you mix them in your hand first. And if it mixes smoothly, then it can work together and it won't cause any flakes and stuff. Actually, I normally use eco styling. So, do you think? Do you guys think I should get an eco style? Because okay, so let me show you what I mean now. So y'all see how it look right here? It's not supposed to look like that. It's not supposed to look so chunky. If it looks this chunky, it means that when you actually put it in your hair and after it dries, the outcome is not going to be good. It's not. It's going to be flaky. The style is not going to hold properly, so it should not look like it's not how it's supposed to look. So I made an error. So let's fix the error, <laughs> and uh, we'll we can try. I have another curl pudding. It's the cream of nature argonal one. So we can try this and see if it works with the oil, though not the oil, the gel. So hold on, let me wipe this off on my hand. So we're going to try to do some trial runs now. So I'm going to try these two now. Let me try this and see if this mixture works and give that smooth texture that I wanted. All right, so this is a better representation. This is how it's supposed to look. You see how it's smooth and it didn't give that chunky vibe that up the other Cream of Nature product? That's fine. So this one is Argan Oil. The other one was, hold on. This other one was butter blend and flaxseed. So ten, sh clearly we see that this one is not going to work with the Cantu. So we're going to switch to this one. And that's fine, that's fine. Sometimes you just find out stuff and you just change it as you go. But always when you're going to use multiple products in your hair when it comes to styling, check it out on your hand first. Like mix them together and see if it mixes. And if it doesn't, it's probably best you don't use that those products together and just try and find the next one to use as well so 
I will say before I even turn back around to do the hairstyle that for the butter blend and flaxseed, it works very fine with the eco styling gel, the green one, that's the aloe vera one, I think it is, but it just doesn't work well with the Cantu shea butter styling gel. So it's not that that product is bad. It's just that it doesn't work well with this product and that's okay. What I'm going to do is kind of rub this in my hand and just apply it to this strand of here. Not this strand, this section of here. What I'm going to do now is add the mousse. I'm going to add that now. You don't need that much. Well, you should know your hair. I think that's my motto now. You should know your hair. I don't need that much mousse. I don't, I think. This much is okay. So I'm going to just have this here. Let's kind of do that. All right. So make sure everything. Also, a big thing to note is your hair has to be detangled. Has to. If it's not detangled, no style when regarding curl will turn out as good as it can. So make sure your hair is detangled so you can have the best turnout. So this is what we're working with right now. See? Ensure you all that all the strands are coated. Even the roots, like down to here, should have product. Because you want everything to style really well. Okay, so now we have this. And what I do to style my, to curl my hair, I'm going to bring it down to the end. The end, I'm going to wrap it around. And when you wrap your hair, please, and you see the end here, please ensure that it is completely flat against the rod. So it's not completely flat right now, so I'm going to add a little slight styling cream and flatten it. So, so ensure it is completely flat against the rod before you even proceed. So what I'm going to do, since it's now flat, I'm going to just kind of roll it a bit first. And then what you want to do is this twist over like that. You can continue twisting if you'd like. Sometimes what I would do is twist once and then continue rolling and then twist again. So I'm gonna twist again up here. And you have to please ensure that it is tight. Tight, tight, tight. And then what you're going to do is just lock it. So I'm going to lock it here on this side. Right here. Now that's one for me. I sometimes what I would do, and I'm going to do it now so I can show you, is I would pin it all, I would twist it even more and pin it here. That adds a little something. You don't need to do it. This is very much okay. This works very well for me. So you're curling the tops and then it curls all the way down. So this is one. So I'm going to show you one more time or actually two more times so we can have the gist of it. Okay. So we, remember we still had this section here that we separated from this. Okay. So remember you're going to have this mixture here. Mix it beforehand. Some people put uh, the styling cream on first and then they put the gel that's just too tedious for me and this works quite fine so it doesn't deter you it doesn't deter me from actually doing it multiple times so i'm going to just mix this in my hand all right so that's mixed then i'm going to you know rub it up let me turn so you can see properly I'm going to make sure please ensure that every single strand is coated every strand is coated for me so i'm going to take an extra rod as i showed you i'm going to bring it down to the end and i'm going to wrap it around and please ensure that it is flat 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 Please ensure it's flat so that you don't have any ends not being curled. And I'm going to 
bring it up a bit then I'm gonna twist I'm gonna twist then I'm gonna twist I'm gonna twist again bring it up then twist I'm gonna twist you twist all the way up to here and then what you're gonna do is bring it around and clip it see now I'm going to just kind of speed through the rest of this side and uh, yeah then yeah I'm going to speed through the rest of this side <laughs> So I'm done. It is 9 12. And let me tell you, it doesn't normally take this long. The only reason it took long is because I went on the road. I was also cooking. Oh, I'm cooking. Hold on. Someone turned this off. Okay. <laughs> I was cooking. I was also watching something. So I had to be like getting up and doing stuff. And uh, yeah. Also, I didn't have enough rods. So for some of them, I actually flat twisted some and then rod the ends. So I flat twisted all this and then rod the ends. But I ensure to keep like the top like pieces like this. I should have done probably like it this way. Didn't really think it was until now. And I also did that from there for this as well, the flat twist. And then rod the ends. I haven't I've never done a flat twisted thing before. I saw it. On TikTok, this girl did it and it turned out gorgeous. So I'm going to see if it works. If not, it's not going to really affect me that much because it's just like two sections. And I can probably just like pin that down to the side or something. It won't turn out because I flat twist. It will still curl. It just won't have the same coily effect that it normally does. Um, So I'm going to find a bonnet. And then the quality is so bad. It's like, yeah, it's late, so I don't have an old type light. So I'm going to find a bonnet. I mean, first of all, I'll clean my room and then go to bed eventually. Because my room, I was, I was on the ground doing this. So I need to clean up. And then, yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with uh, at least, uh, I think, about... Seven hours? What time did I go to bed? About... It had eight hours to set while I slept. Very uncomfortably, might I add. And I'm going to start taking it down. Now, I think it's the same sort of um, method when it, when it comes to the braid out videos I did. And if you haven't watched that, please go watch it now. Thank you very much. Well, not now. After the video. <laughs> but... Uh, it's the same method, so I use a light oil on my hands, then I take it out carefully, and then I would separate it after I would have taken out all of the rods. Okay? So I'm going to take out the first one and show you how it should look, and then I'll just kind of speed through the rest. I'm going to come up close to the camera so you can see it properly, and so you can see it closely, not properly. I should say, but yeah, hold on. Okay, so I'm much more in your personal space. <laughs> or you're much more in mine. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna take out the first one. I think this one should be fine. What I'm going to do, oop, the oil. So I'm going to use this today. Normally it's either something like this. This light, you see it moves very freely in the bottle. That's light. I would use either this, um, I could also use the names are leaving my head. Oh, lavender, tea tree, rosemary, those sort of stuff, you know. But right now I'm using this because it doesn't. Lavender, rosemary, tea tree, those are very strong. They smell very in your face. And I'm going somewhere later, so I don't want that smell in my hair. So I'm going to use this instead. It doesn't smell. It smells actually not very, very like very nice. I just stopped it for more. But yeah, I'm going to use this. It has a it has an applicator, so I'm going to just connect this. 
uh, rub my hands together and uh, take down the first one. So let me put this down. Okay, so it's on my hands like that. And this is the first one I said I'm going to do. So first thing that I do is pull this. So I've opened that. Then I'm going to hold it while I sort of unravel this from here. And it should look like that. You see how it coiled? Let me come closer. You see that coil? That's gorgeous right there, right there, truly. Yeah, so that's how it's supposed to look. I'm gonna just drop this on the floor. And let's do the other one. <laughs> uh, so let's do one more. So I open it. I hold here so I don't mess up the curl in any way. And then I just kind of unravel it like that. And it should coil like this. See? Yep. I'm going to do that for all of them. Let me do one more. I pull it. I hold. Then I unravel. Unravel. Then it forms the coil. That's the coil you want. It should look like this when you're done. It doesn't have to be as tightly. You would I prefer it's tight. Cause that means your curls are coming out much better. But what I'm going to do now is kind of speed through all of them so we can get to the other parts where I pull the sections. I separate sections. So let's just speed through that. Hyperlapse. All right, so I know that right now it looks kind of a a bit underwhelming but the coils are the coils come up very great so what i'm going to do now is separate them so i'm going to come closer show you the first two or three and then hyperlapsed again <laughs> so all right so this is these are how the curls are looking remember i did a couple flat twists because i saw someone do them before and i wanted to try them so i kind of popped two or three in my hair one because i wanted to try the style and two because i was running out of rods to use for my hair because i can't do big sections when it comes to my hair i have to do them in small sections where the curls won't come out as good or when i'm separating them they will basically fall apart because they wouldn't be able to dry well enough when it's all chunked together it will basically fall apart because they wouldn't be able to dry well enough when it's all chunked together you know so I'm going to pull out the first three, separate them. So what I do is I stretch down here and I kind of untwist the top part. So it should just fall apart like it's doing right now. It should not be hard. You should be like, you should be basically gliding your fingers through it. I don't glide my fingers through it because that would probably mess up the curl itself. I would do this. You see? And this is how it's supposed to look. Let me try and get this stuff out of the way. This is how it's supposed to look. The curls should still be intact, but they should just be smaller and lighter. So let's do our next one. There's no specific order. There's no specific order to this. So you just kind of take one, because eventually in the end, you, they all have to be separated. So I'm just going to do this. If you're getting some resistance, just pull at the end and then just continue. There's no need, at least for this style, there's no need to like twirl it around your finger like some people normally do when they pull it and then they come like this again. I don't that. It messes up my curls, so I don't do that. What I will do, as I said, is stretch it, kind of get a, some separation at the top. Then just slowly bring it down to the end, like that. And then you just continue with that. And it should just fall apart pretty easily. Remember, all in all, you're always supposed to have the same curls coming in like how they look right here. So you still have the same sort of coil effect, but they're just much smaller. Okay? So let's just hyperlapse and let me show you before I start fluffing it after I pulled out everything. Let's go. All 
all right. I gave myself bangs again, clearly. Let me kind of come up close so you can see how everything sort of turned out with my hair. I will say, however, that the flat twists did not work for me. So you see the parts of my hair that just look kind of just just curly, like just curly, all over the place curly, like here. And I think it's here, just these two parts. Those are for the flat twists. Another thing about that, I should have probably put it like further, like probably in the back. Did not think about it. But the back turned out fine. So this is the part where I had the rods and those are the parts that had really nice coils, but, and the front as well, like here. But here did not turn out the best. So like the ends of them are the same coil thing, but because I had to pull out the flat twist, those end curls sort of as well. So I would not advise to do that. So that was trial and error. It was clearly an error. And now I'm going to pick out my hair and see how that turns out with all this going on. Yeah. Now, this is as much as I want to go because like while doing the whole pick out thing, I realized that I have not done a hairstyle in like, I've, I haven't done my hair in like a fade type style in a while and you might be wondering Kelly, what do you mean you can't have a fade and your hair is long look when i come like when i come like this and pin the sides and kind of bring the back a little bit down tell me this doesn't look good like when i pin it it'll be like even better when there's sort of some structure to the fade but right now i'm kind of showing you like a blueprint of what it would look how would this look? Let me look in the mirror. Hold on. Yeah, I think this will look really good. Yeah. So it'd be like a fade, but not really a fade. You know? So I'm going to find some pins. Pin up the sides. Kind of tie it down as well. If I can find here, spray I will kind of just... So it stays in that formation. So right now I'm going to find a pin. Well, not a pin, a lot of pins, because um, the last time I did it, I think I probably used like an entire pack of pins. Because you need it to be very tight up top. And I don't know exactly how I'm going to perfect it. I have this thing. Let me show you. Hold on. I have this thing. I used it the first time I did the whole fade thing. What it does, it helps with your puffs. But it can also help my fade. So what I would do is like kind of brush my hair to the top and then kind of clip this around it, then use the pin to kind of tighten it up and then spray it and then just tie it down with a scarf so it holds the formation for a good while, you know. So I'm going to get the stuff, then I'm going to come back and show you what I mean by what I'm doing. Hopefully this does not go south. <laughs> If it, oh gosh, crossing our fingers here, praise God, <laughs> this doesn't go south. So let's go get the stuff and come back. All right, so I've gotten the stuff I need for this. I have these stuff, I have the pins in my hand. I could not find a lot of pins, so. No one knows how it's going to work. I'm using the Cantu because since I already used Cantu in my hair, I didn't want to use a next gel just in case it doesn't mix well with it. I'm also using this L'Oreal mousse. I think I mentioned in a video that I use this. It doesn't affect my hair growth. So I use this L'Oreal Maximum Hold mousse in my hair. The reason I'm using this, because it says strong hold. And also because I have a spray, though got to be. But you can't really carry aerosols. That's why it's from aerosols, yeah, on the plane. So I could not carry it with me. And I haven't been shopping for hair products since I've been back here. So 
we have to make do with these and just make sure I tie my hair really tight when I'm finished. All right, so what I'm going to do is brush my hair up. I gather it in a scrunchie and then use this in my hair. I'm going to brush it really well with this and then use a scrunchie and then put this in there and then use the pins to kind of tighten everything together. So I think it's pretty straightforward. This is not really a tutorial on how to do this, but I guess you can watch me, I guess. Let's go. All right, so I'm going to take some of the Cantu. Not a lot, cause my, my hair already has product in there, so you don't need that much product again. So I'm going to take about this much, that much. Rub that up in there. I'm going to just flip my hair over. Oh gosh. Then just do like this. Apply it. I don't need to apply it to the front, just to the sides, cause the, flog, the front is going to be flocked over into my face. So I don't need to apply gel to that. And then what I'm going to do is brush. There is absolutely no going back now. Yeah, then I'm going to take my scrunchie, kind of gather all of that up top, all of it, make sure all the curls are coming out and not bunched up to the sides, just like loosely gather it up top. Then what I'm going to do now is take this, I'm going to apply, like put it probably here, I think here is good, here and pull it pull it Oop. put it all the way around and then it clips at the back so i'm going to just clip this together now and boom this is it now i'm going to release this and you're supposed to see sort of what I'm talking about. Let me check if this looks okay. Okay, so it's supposed to sort of like see what I mean. It's supposed to like align more like a fade wood. And then I'm going to just kind of bring it down. So it goes down into this V. I don't know what that type of fade is called. So I'm going to start pinning the stuff down. The, the sides are already tight and up. I don't need to fix that. I just need to start pinning here to form it and around the back as well so I'm going to just do this all right that's it so I've I think I've successfully if any males are watching this video, can you tell me if I did the fade at least somewhat good in the comments? I kind of tried to bring it down to the back. Hopefully that looks good. I don't know how it looks. But I do know that the front part looks okay. Just do that. See? This is not what people with fades do. <laughs> but this is my fade. I really like it. It's curly. And I'm going to just kind of tie it down after this video so it can hold for the rest of the week because I'm not going to be doing this again. So, hope you guys caught on to what I did just a while ago. Also, I have a lot more hair videos on this channel. And if you'd like to check those out, you can click here for them. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up down below. As always, guys, it's been fun. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.